So um, today we're going to be looking at this uh, problem where we have um, lines going down or going across the screen, different colors. As you can see, uh, things are not normal. Okay, this is Windows 7, and uh, all of a sudden, one day, the computer's working properly. The next minute, we've got all these funny colors, lines, colors running like water. And um, in this particular scenario, the graphics card has um, overheated and um, the GPU, the chip uh, is now faulty because of uh, of the overheating okay so you can end up with colors the computer could stick blue screens so um, I'm going to show you a quick fix on how to do a reflow on the graphics card and um, we'll see if that uh, sorts it out otherwise we're talking a uh, new graphics card okay so we've got the graphics card out okay um, this is a GeForce 8600 GTS okay so you've got your your fan on here that blows air through the and underneath here it cools down the GPU chip underneath here so um, first off let's take off the cover and see if we can find a blockage which caused the the graphics card to overheat in the first place and there it is right there here there is a a carpet of dust and hair which is blocking the airflow from the pan from the fan sorry through the heatsink so this is just uh, damage through lack of maintenance really um, every computer is gonna suck in dust nothing you can do about that but uh, a little bit of maintenance once a year before the summer um, will be able to save you these type of problems okay so uh, we're gonna have to remove this uh, from the from the graphics card and uh, we're gonna reflow the chip and see if that sorts out our problems Yeah, those four screws hold on the whole cooling system. Okay, um, here's the chip we're going to reflow. Also, make sure that you have this uh, silver stuff here. This is a thermal compound. Okay, this helps to transfer the heat directly from the chip to this copper plate here. Okay, make sure there's no air in between the, um, the copper plate and the chip. Okay, that's uh, so when you're doing this job, make sure you have some thermal compound handy. Okay, I recommend the uh, Arctic Silver, been using that for years and it does a good job. Okay, so before you reflow this, you're going to just give it a good clean up. Okay, there's some more dust here. As you can see, the dust really got hold of this one. Okay, so let's give this a reflow. Right, so um, wrap it up in a couple of layers of uh, tin foil. Um, nice flat surface. All right, we're just going to expose the the GPU chip here. Okay, a couple of heat sinks on here to hold down the the foil as well as um, retain some of the heat. You don't want this uh, cooling down uh, too quick. You want it to cool down slowly. Uh, it stops any warping in the circuit board. Okay, so uh, what I normally do is uh, on the medium level, uh, heat it up um, 30 seconds or so, 
generally heat up the whole area all around the card and the heat sinks and then give it a blast on the high level directly on the chip for about 15 seconds okay so let's get started Okay, so um, let that cool down um, every minute or so. Give it a, a blast on the medium level around just to help uh, so that it doesn't cool down too um, quickly. Um, don't touch it. Leave it, on the, leave it to cool down on this flat surface. And then we'll uh, clean up the cooler, put some new thermal paste and uh, see if we can get this graphics card back on the road. Okay, so uh, it's cooled down nicely now. Just gonna put a little bit of thermal compound here on the chip. So uh, clean up your heatsink nicely. Clean up your fan. Make sure your fan is working properly, and then. Uh, Clean up your copper plate here as well. Don't leave any of the old thermal paste on there. And let's put it back together. And hopefully, if you're one of those people that have spent a lot of money on your graphics card, we can uh, get it back on the road without having to replace it. Uh, when tightening up these uh, four screws, um, you want an even, so just give it a couple of turns, the opposite side, a couple of turns, opposite side a couple of turns, and that way we want the, the heatsink to sit flat on the GPU. It was very important. Plug the fan connector back in. Put back the cover. Make sure the fan spins freely. Okay, so there's our graphics card refloat. Let's put it back in the machine and see if it's working okay. Okay, so we've got the graphics card back in. Uh, let's power this on and have a look. There we have it. The Windows has uh, booted up and uh, no more lines. Everything's clear. So this looks like a, a fix. Um, I suggest that you will run some sort of um, software where you can check the temperatures of the GPU. Okay, um, you want to monitor those temperatures, and you want to know exactly what temperatures they get into when you're gaming and uh, watches and the such to avoid um, similar problems. Okay, let's just. Okay, so um, I use this uh, Ada64, just let's have a look at the sensors here. Alright, so uh, ah, we've got the GPU which is around 55. So you're going to monitor those temperatures and just make sure that you don't have an overheating problem again. Now that the fan is clean with new thermal compound, we've done a reflow, uh, this graphics card is good to go. Alright, so remember there's always a fix. Thanks for watching.